tell us about Shelly, how this song came into play. Like, how did you create it? Did you like tell us about how you came up with the idea and how it came about? Well, you know, I I write best from things that really occur to me. I I really I really admire when writers can just go in a room and make up a situation. And I can do that too, but I think my most inspired stuff comes from real life. So um, the truth is I, w I had met Meredith a couple weeks before. We had planned to write together. And um, one night I was coming home from a session. I was in a really crappy mood. And um, I had this thought. I thought, I'm going home to... My, uh, this great guy that I'm living with that I moved from New York to LA to be with and um, I'm bitchy I'm feeling really bitchy tonight and the <laughs> poor guy is going to love me anyway but I could be such a bitch and it, it just it really hit me I said that could be a song I don't know if I would think that it could be a song today I think things have gotten so much more shocking yeah. but for 1997 that was a little shocking and it also occurred to me, gosh, that girl Meredith who I met, I bet you she could write that with me because I get that she knows where I'm coming from. And it's really great when you're writing with somebody who shares the idea. So um, I called her and I told her about the idea. She was, uh, she had um, a development deal and she was waiting for that one great idea, that one song to really make them switch the development deal to launch a record for her yeah. and um, she came over the next morning and we sequestered ourselves in a tiny room and we had no electronics you know she had a guitar in her lap like you do it in Nashville um, and we just really batted it back and forth line 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 it wasn't like I had the whole hook where she had the whole verse it was really a stream a beautiful stream of consciousness I'll never forget it was a it was a really exciting experience and I think we wrote the song in about an hour Wow! And she ran off and, and demoed it and it just it happened very quickly and she called and said you know they're gonna they're gonna put it out on Capitol it's gonna be a big single and my feeling was great you know <laughs> let me know when it happens I was just so used to having disappointment right it's not like people lie to you at labels it's just that so many unforeseen things happen and they mean some usually they mean what they say and they want these things to happen but so many things come about that ruin their plans and i was just way i was braced for disappointment and i was wrong you know you that's kind of reminds me of a something that i like to tell people often when they're talking about Oh, if I could only write a song with, you know, this big artist, if I, I, you know, they, how do I get in the room with a big artist or a big writer? And it just proves to me a lot of times the easiest way to have a big success in the music business is with someone starting out. She didn't have a record deal. She had a development deal. Um, she just needed that song. And so that's oftentimes how we break through is writing with people around us often that are on our same level and then they pull us up when they go up and yeah. of course you had had plenty of, of cuts and um, we're an established writer but that your first it's amazing that your first like really major hit came from an artist that was a brand new artist and that's yes. you know once an artist is established it's kind of hard to get in there they already have their circle of people so. right and there's momentum and yeah 